All right, man. So what's going on, you beautiful savages? Welcome back to another King of Fighters video. And I had a lot of you guys hitting me up asking how I'm able to accumulate so many rubies so quickly without spending a whole bunch of money on King of Fighters. And that's exactly what I want to show to you guys today because I know a lot of you guys are coming into this game and you're taking the free to play approach. And some of you guys are actually hitting me up saying, man, it's so hard to get any rubies. I can't summon. I can't get any of these new characters. It's so frustrating. But the thing is, there's a lot of rubies on the table for you. And so far from playing this game for a month, I've accumulated close to 30,000 rubies completely for free, right? And I still think there's another 10K on the table that you can grind for. So if you're free to play, listen to what I'm going to say to you in this video because you definitely want to be doing all of these things if you haven't been doing them already. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that I summoned a total of 22 times already. And when I say I've summoned 22 times, I mean I've done 22 multis, right? Meaning the 900 for 10, I've done that, okay? 22 times, which comes to a grand total of 19,800. However, I was very strategic in how I spent those rubies because they actually ended up giving me some really good characters and that's how you wanna play this game if you are free to play. Listen to me. The first six pulls I did in this game gave me this guy right here, who's one of the best red units in the game, and this guy right here, where is he? Down here. Right, one of the best blue units in the game. After that, I did 16 pulls on the Orochi banner, which gave me these two characters right here. Again, two of the best characters in the game. The reason why I'm telling you guys this is because if you have rubies, do not waste them on every banner you see if you are free to play because eventually you are going to run out of options when it comes to grinding for rubies and then you're going to be very frustrated if you don't have good characters to push through some of the content because the content is where you're going to be getting your rubies from. Listen to me, okay? The first month, I spent 20 thousand basically of my rubies trying to build my roster you shouldn't be summoning for battle cards if you are free to play because you can end up with battle cards for characters that you don't have and then that is ultimately going to be useless to you until you get those characters in the future which you may never get those characters right okay that being said let's get right to it i'm gonna show you guys how i get my rubies and yeah Maybe you guys can do the same thing and hopefully this helps you out. So first and foremost, if you're a new player or free to play, the story is your best friend. Listen to me, okay? I don't care if you've cleared the story already because ultimately you should try to clear the story as fast as possible. But what you should do is aim to clear it on normal, everything on normal, or at the very least, try to push as far as you possibly can on normal, once you get stuck, which you will if you're a new player, once you get to 98, you're gonna notice that even on normal, the difficulty scales to an insane degree, right? You notice that this goes from 9,000, right? On normal, whereas at 97 right here, you see for yourself, it's 5,000. It basically doubled pretty much, right? So if you're coming through this thing and you're trying to get rubies, which Trust me, there's a lot of rubies in the story missions. This is where I get most of my rubies, right? You're gonna get stuck. Check your ego, and then what you wanna do is go all the way back to 94, right? And then start playing the campaign again, but this time, play it on hard, because the rubies that you collected from normal will be here again for you to earn again this time on hard. So, first and foremost, Clear the story as much as you can on normal. Then come back, put it on hard, clear it again, everything. I know it's a bit repetitive, it's a grind, but what do you want? You want to spend time or you want to spend money? If you don't have money, you got to spend time. That's just how it goes for mobile games, okay? So basically, you come in here and you body as much as you can. Don't worry so much about the mission challenges, at first, just try to push through as much as you can, get back up to 98 on normal, and then you wanna come back to 94 and do the same thing again. 
that's gonna net you a whole bunch of rubies trust me i ain't just saying it to you i did it you see for yourself i got a hundred percent on 94 let me actually not click on that i have a hundred percent on 94 for everything i have a hundred percent on 95 for everything and i'm slowly getting you can see 96 to 100 percent then i'm going to start on 97 and then 98 i did 98 on hard already just because of how my characters were situated i had a type advantage so i figured go ahead and just body that real quickly so that's exactly what you need to be doing there is a lot of rubies here for you to earn trust me over 20k easy now once you've worked through the story right and you hit a sticking point that's when you want to come back to 94 and then you start working on the challenges you can try to do all of it at once to be like i guess time efficient right but for me i just focus on getting the first clear and hitting as many of the challenges as i can along the way because some of these challenges are pretty difficult like clearing the entire stage without being hit like 10 times right so the reason why i said you should try to push to the end or as far as you can go before worrying too much about all of the challenges right is because it's going to be time consuming so you want to come back and do these challenges when you have time and you have nothing else to push you so for me that's how i did it i'm not saying you absolutely need to do it this way you can just kill everything at once three birds one stone kind of deal if you're able to do that but some of these challenges are going to be impossible for you as a new player and especially since you're not going to have some of the colors that are strong enough to beat the stages right so just keep that in mind in addition to clearing the stages and completing all the challenges you want to focus pretty heavily on this bar down here because once you complete all the challenges on the stage also these little um once you complete all the challenges not only do you get a reward for completing all of the challenges on the stage right you get an additional 10 which i somehow forgot about these um 10 right here right for simply just getting three stars you definitely want to do that in addition to that once you've completed it you can now do a soul quest for the characters that are located on the stage now there's only a like a few really good soul quests here like for example 96 rio he's a really good soul quest for you to farm it costs a lot of energy but he's definitely worth it he's one of the best in the game also 95 my 94 king and i believe 97 blue mary on i think on expert 97 blue Ma oh it's a heart right so her soul quest is actually really good and if you like blue mary you definitely should actually even if you don't like blue mary she's a good character so you should definitely do the soul quest for her however besides the characters that are really good you should still be doing all of the soul quests at least once because that's going to give you a first clear reward right if you don't care about doing the soul quest for them every single day right that's completely fine but you should do every soul quest that you unlock at least once because that's going to give you a first clear reward it doesn't say it here but trust me every piece of content in this game when you beat it the first time that gives you a first clear reward of anything anywhere from like five to like eight rubies and it slowly adds up right so after you do that boys you tackle the story you get this um chest down here which you can see for yourself there's some good rewards in there these attack capsules are really good they're a good way to buff your characters and you can get anywhere from 100 to 200 extra rubies right i'll show you guys on um i think i have one let's see why am i missing one what am i oh this guy right here this is challenge right here to beat um goodness without getting hit 10 times i believe is actually super hard it's actually super hard so i left this one well it's 15 times but his attacks just seriously have so many hits on them so anyways the point is you want to focus heavily on running through the story and even if you beat it the first time you definitely want to come back and do it a second time complete anything that you missed right and then collect your goodies because these chests that they give you are really good for developing your characters i've seen a couple of you guys asking me how do you get so many capsules again from replaying the story you will get capsules that drop for you on the higher difficulties right they drop on normal too but i find that the attack capsules the hp capsules defense capsules they drop at a higher rate at the higher difficulties so keep that in mind plus you want to definitely focus on getting these rewards at the bottom here so after you've tackled the story and you've done not only the challenges right but also the soul quest at least once you want to start focusing pretty heavily on 
the event quest. Actually, you should probably focus on these more so than the story missions, just because the story missions are gonna be there for you basically forever. Whereas these things are timed. And the reason why you wanna focus on these events are because they're gonna go away soon and you wanna beat them at least once so you can get the first clear rewards. The challenges here are generally not that difficult. It's just keeping your characters alive in addition to just clearing it once that's gonna give you the first clear reward. So first and foremost, when it comes to these events, you wanna focus on the first clear. If you can't keep all of your characters alive the first time, that's fine. You have days, sometimes weeks, right, to come back and just get that additional challenge done. So just keep that in mind. That's what you want to do for every single one of these events. Even the ones that are super hard for you right now, just wait a couple of days, build your roster in the background, come back and bang them out, right? Next thing you want to focus pretty heavily on is the epic quest. Actually, the, dun the power up dungeon is the same as the story. It's going to be here forever for you. So you want to ideally at some point to clear every dungeon at least once. That way you can get the first clear reward and obviously the completion reward right here, which is five rubies, okay? But these are not necessarily a priority because they're gonna always be there, right, for the most part. Actually, these are timed, these are timed. So you definitely wanna look out for the ones that are timed because it doesn't show up on the banner itself that says it's a timed event. So you wanna look out for these. I think they change over every week. So yeah, make sure you're checking in here on a weekly basis. See whatever is new, even if you don't care about the battle cards that are in here, which trust me, most of the battle cards in here are really good, right? But they don't drop that often. The ones at the top here, they drop pretty often. But nonetheless, you want to focus pretty heavily on getting at least one clear against every dungeon. That's going to give you some free rubies. Next thing is the epic quest. The epic quest is pretty much the exact same deal as the story. You want to work your way through the first time, right? Just get the first clear rewards and any additional items that you can get, right? And then once you get stuck so for me i'm on as you can see right here chapter three this girl is actually a beast super hard to take her down i'm struggling on the first stage right it gets pretty difficult but once you get stuck check your ego at the door listen to me check your ego at the door reason for that is you can spend 20 30 40 50 minutes an hour two hours trying to be one stage when you could just come back and complete some of these challenges here that will give you more rubies than just clearing one stage check your ego at the door okay as male many of us are males so just check your ego please we have very big egos and sometimes we get caught up in it consumed by it even right and we don't want to give up and say you know what i'm gonna come back to this when i have enough firepower don't waste your time on a stage that is way too difficult for you to complete right now so just come back and definitely right complete any of the challenges that you can do and eventually you'll be able to clear that stage that you're struggling on now next thing we got to talk about is hold up it's back all the way out is pvp some of you guys may not like pvp but this is a fighting game so pvp is here you definitely want to do it there's two different types of uh, time attack challenges here. What you want to do is at least try to complete them because you can see for yourself, you get a couple rubies here. Do, you, do the best you can do. If you can't be number one, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're 500,000 in the world. Just do it, get it completed, get some free rubies and just take that as a lesson, right? To learn and improve. Same thing goes for the time attack master. Okay, I'm not sure why it's taking a bit to load here but you wanna definitely do this because as you can see, this gives you even more rubies than the last one. And the higher up you go, you see you start getting some rainbow souls, which is very useful for rare characters, okay? Next thing is the arena and league. This also gives you some rubies, so you definitely wanna make sure that you're doing this on the daily. As you can see, you can get quite a bit. You also get medals, which the medals are very useful because you can buy things like AP potions and other goodies, like my boy Geese right here, All right? Same goes for League. League is pretty much the exact same thing as Arena, and you just wanna do the best you can do. If you lose, it doesn't matter. Even if you're losing all of your fights, it doesn't matter. It's just an opportunity to learn and grow. Eventually, you'll get one win, that turns into two wins, then three wins, then before you know it, you're getting perfects against 
everybody that you face. You know, we dare to dream, but we gotta dream big because one day you never know, right? So yeah, you definitely wanna do PVP as well because you have AP potions in here, you have skip tickets for if you're low on time and then you have battle card selectors at the top there. So this is basically where you farm most of the rubies in the game. And by doing this for a month, I've gotten close to 30,000 and I still think there's a lot more that I can grind for. In addition to the dailies, every day from doing six dailies, there's a lot more than six here. So even if you're low on time, just do six of them. Me, I'm a savage, right? So I do all of them things because I want all the free shit. Gimme, 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 you dig? <laughs> Anyways, so I do all, but do six. That will give you 50 rubies. Then you have your achievements over here. That gives you a whole bunch of rubies for doing things like clearing the content on the different difficulties, right? In addition to that, right, ranking up and collecting more fighters. So just keep in mind, there's a lot of different ways to get rubies. And that's why I said, even though I've gotten close to 30,000 already, I still think there's another 10,000 on the board. Because once you've tapped into all of those places, there's another place right here where you can get rubies and it's basically individual to every single fighter that's in the game and will ever be in the game. What I'm talking about is your affinity. You can see by getting your affinity to level nine, you can get some rubies. You can see for yourself, you're getting 50 rubies from getting your affinity for every character up to level nine. Now I know you guys are gonna say, why the hell would I wanna get some of these trash characters to level nine? Well, it's 50 rubies. Do you want it or do you not want it? It's like leaving money on the table. Even if the character is trash, now I'm not, I'm not specifically saying this character is trash. I'm just saying some of these characters are never going to be useful for you, right? Because you might have more powerful options, but you still should at some point, not saying it has to be now, right? At some point, get their affinity to level nine, get yourself those free rubies and keep it moving because by doing so, you see you get some more free stuff because your total affinity across the board definitely helps. Okay, so boys... We're gonna wrap it up here. Just wanted to give y'all a little bit of advice, man. Let y'all know where all my rubies are coming from for the most part. I have made one purchase because, you know what I'm saying? I wanna support the game because it's a good game. And after seeing that Tekken collab, man, I'm happy I invested in the game and I hope they just keep it rolling. So check it out. Being me, I gotta keep it 100 with all of y'all. I've made one purchase and that's actually this thing right here, okay? It's basically a check-in thing where you purchase this thing for $13 Canadian and it gives you 400 rubies one time, right? And every other day following that, you'll get 100 rubies. So from the 28,000 that I've earned so far, just this package alone has given me 800. It's nothing compared to the 28,000. It's basically like a drop of sand in the ocean, right? So I know a couple of you guys are gonna be like, man, this guy's spending money. But yeah, I'm spending a little bit of money to support the game, but ultimately what I'm spending is way less than what I'm getting. Now, these packages right here for ranking up, I think they look pretty appealing. They're definitely more appealing than just buying rubies outright. So I might buy them at some point. So I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. And when I do buy them, I'm gonna be like, yo, guys, I bought this and this and this. Cause you guys support me and I always keep it 100 with the people that support me. You dig? Y'all a fan, man. Anyways, boys, we're gonna wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Actually, there's another place that you can get rubies. It's individual for every single character in the game. And that's actually in the Soul Quest. Now, this is a little bit tricky because when it comes to the Soul Quest, you definitely wanna prioritize the important characters, the characters that are part of the meta, the characters that are really strong. And you definitely wanna use those three entries that you get every single day to get soul pieces for them so you get them to level 90 as quickly as possible. However, if you want to get additional rubies, you can run all three difficulty right here for every single one of the characters that you have unlocked. And that's gonna give you some free rubies. I believe 12 rubies give or take. Actually, it might be a little bit more than that because then there's the first clear reward, which ultimately is pretty good because that means it's 36 per character. It might be a little bit more give or take, but nonetheless, it's actually a good way to get additional rubies after you've maxed out all of the important characters that you're trying to max out in your roster. It would take you a little while to get to that spot, but it's always nice to know that once you've gotten there, there's another way to earn a little bit more rubies. So boys, 
we're going to wrap it up right here, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything else that I missed, any additional places that we get rubies from in the game, I'll hit you guys up with another video. So, as always, thank y'all so much for the love, the support. And if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, you know what to do, man. Hit that dislike button two times for me. I said two times, goddammit. And if it's your first time here, feel free to hit that subscribe button on the way out. Because this is what we do. And we do it daily, you dig? Also, man, feel free to turn on post notifications if you're really down with it. Yeah, I'm gone. Stay safe, fam. Can't wait for that Tekken collab, my boy Jin. Oh, man, he gonna be lit. I can't wait, boys. Back to the grind, I go. All right, guys, so I was in so much of a rush to get back to the grind that I completely forgot to show you guys one additional way that you can get free rubies, and it's actually the easiest way to get free rubies right now. And that's actually by watching this ad on this package right here. You can do it once per day and you'll get 30 ruby and one item summoning ticket, right? Which can give you an attack capsule or anything else, right? So it's actually good to watch this ad every single day. I haven't watched it yet. You can see it resets in three hours and 23 minutes. So I'm definitely going to watch this. I'm not going to make you guys sit through the ad, but just take my word for it. You watch this ad and you will get this item sent to your inventory. You definitely should do it every single day because it only takes 30 seconds of your time. Literally, all you got to do, click view, walk away from your phone, come back, and you have 30 rubies that you can use to buy AP from the shop because I generally buy AP right here, right? 200 AP for 10 rubies is actually really good. And just watching that package will give you enough to buy it three times, which is pretty dope. Anyways, boys, we outie. Stay safe. I love y'all. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.